Welcome Tauruses. All right. Tauruses, this is the season reading for the season of Pisces. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful likes, shares, and support. All right, Tauruses, I see you're dealing with a young lady between the ages of 18 and 45 or 18 and 50. Whoever this person is, I see the sword of truth. Um, some of you Pisces was trying to create some sort of a new um stability for this person. It's not going to be happening. Um, you you Tauruses was unfair. You play a very, very unfair game, Tauruses. You know that this person is was not the one, was not the person for this uh, um uh, contract. And what you did was to use someone else's information to get um a young Aries Leo or fire sign person in a company corporation. And the way you did it was very horrible because uh, you gave this person someone else's information and data in order to get in a corporation institution. And now um, when that didn't happen and the person found out, you really go back after years and you got your friends, your business friends uh, to connect with another woman in order, the same woman data that you sold, because you sold this lady data, this customer data, you sold an elderly lady customer data, your customer, you sold her data to a younger woman. And then what you have done is when that didn't work out because they found out what you have done, you got another businessman to access that older lady, business lady, and get a contract and some sort of an email communication so that you could have some sort of a documentation. Um, you Tauruses along with a Virgo and a young Pisces, um, you people are really in for some work. And you know, the, the, the thing about it, Taurus is you like to go, 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 go after things. But I think at this time you have gone too far. You really jump out of your skin this time. I know that, um, you know, you're a business person, but you were wrong in the first place. And Taurus says, uh, this is going to be costing you a lot. And you know why it is the dishonesty, the ego, your ego is going to be costing you your fortune and everything. It's not for all. It's for a Taurus businessman. Um, you women, you know, you're going slowly and surely the worries is over for you, um, Tauruses. Uh, um, you know, you were hoping for something, but um, it's not what it came out to be. I see they're going to be using the sword of truth. Um, it could be um, some of you Taurus women are going to be using the sword of truth against a Aries Lear, um or uh, Aries Lear fire sign or Opsiosus. It's a fire sign person between the age of 18 and 45. It is a young lady. And I see you Tauruses are going to be really using the sword of truth against this person and telling this person, look, it's not going to happen. Um, you know, you're not going to be um, extending their contract or you can't get them in a company. It's not going to be happening. And I see um, that, you know, you have reached a point where, um, you know, you're recognizing that you're... Uh, you know, by helping this person and breaking the rules, um, you're recognizing that you're falling in some sort of a, um, a, a spiral circle that is, a, um, you know, bringing you down and not up. And I see that some of you Taurus is, is going to be making a decision, a business decision to let go of this person because you recognize that this person is, a, you know, is bringing you in a spiral, the spiral is going round and round and round and it's just taking you down instead of uplifting you. So that is um someone because this could be a personal uh, um a personal secretary or some sort of a personal assistant or um a young person in your team, whoever this person is, I see you're going to be making it clear in the last week that you are not going to be moving forward with this person. So this Pisces season begins from uh, um, the 19th of February until the 20th of March, okay? Please get pen and paper, write down your sweet dates. And your sweet days um, is going to be in the third week. Um, the second week, it is as if uh, 
you would have gotten something, but you miss it. Okay, so um, you could be late for an appointment, late for a meeting, and you miss out on something. So be aware of that. All right, so be aware. A cycle is definitely going to be ending for a, a Aries Lee or a Sagittarian person. They have recognized what this person have done. Um, and they are going to be ending this person contract. They're really going to be really standing their grounds using the sword of truth and said to this person, if you try, you know, another time to get in this company or corporation or institution or any company that is associated with our company or organization, you are going to be going to jail. And it is a situation where, um, people are really making a serious thing and so this person you know might not get any jail time but they're, they're telling you we are going to be blocking you from um you know all the corporation institution for what this um young Aries leader Sagittarian um young lady have done so I see that that is going to be it so 99 8, 8 um 99 is 18 and 1 19 19 19 is the energy of the sun. 19 is about success. It's about new start and it's about creating for yourself. Okay. So this is absolutely wonderful and powerful, ladies and gentlemen, because a lot of you were worried, 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 six worried as you, um, end the month of February and it's the 19th of February until the 28th of February. You're going to be sick. You were worried before. And as you get to the 19th of February until the 28th of February, you're going to be recognizing there's no need for me to worry anymore. There's absolutely no need for me to worry anymore. I have no reason to worry about the people, about the work floor and my work and how it's going. You know, my worries was not, was uncalled for. And this is going to be good because you're going to be recognizing, oh my God, I've been worrying all the time and now I'm recognizing um, you know, I was just creating a more negative energies than anything. Um, everything is okay. So, um, you know, and this is going to affect a lot of ladies and that sort of a thing. Cause, uh, I see you ladies has gotten yourself in some sort of a problem, but you gave up the person who have asked you to access some sort of a situation and now recognizing, um, the, um, who these people were and, uh, what has transpired and because of you, um, you know, giving out and letting your boss or supervisor know, listen, this is the person that had contact me and whatever that was happening. Now they're recognizing the play of what was happening. So let's look at the second week. The second week is a water week and it is a situation where some of you could have missed a meeting or missed, a, um, or was late. And you miss something. Okay. So don't take it personal, basically, because it is as if, um, it could also be an exam and you want to have a nine, but you got a eight. So it is, a eight is good. Okay. So, um, it is a situation where in this week of the first of March until the seventh of March, it is really, um, a positive week. It's a nice week, but it is just that. You had expected more out of this week. And, um, you know, you got to recognize when you're working with other people and that sort of a situation, you're waiting for other people to put the puzzles together. You got to recognize that, uh, um, people go, go on their own frequency. And I see that that is something that is going to be affecting a lot of you, but don't take it so personal because the nine of cups upright or in reverse it is a sweet thing but as i said maybe some of you want a nine you get an eight it's okay maybe you want a corner office but you get a middle office you still get your own office and no longer in the cubicle okay so it's something like that all right so let's look at the best best week for you guys the best week is uh, the week of the 8th until the 14th, the 8th until the 14th of March. That is going to be your best week in this uh, um, Pisces season where you're using the sword of truth in a very positive way. A lot of you could be signing a new contract in this week. So get ready, get a pen out and get ready. A lot of you could be taking interviews in this week. This is going to be also good. 
a lot of you could be applying for some sort of an other position or uh, move into another department and uh, um, you know anything that you need to communicate in this um, and in this um, uh, Pisces full moon uh, Pisces season it is good to use the week of the 8 until the 14 the 8 until the 14 this is going to be your sweet week to do any communication whether it's an email whether it's writing a letter, asking for something, communicating something. This is the time. March 8 till March 14 is going to be the time. Whatever you have to communicate is going to be extremely, extremely positive. And it's going to be the person who you're communicating to um, is going to be accessing and accessing the information. And um, it's going to be a yes, okay? So um, if there's any other questions that I didn't answer, any questions that you asked, the third week is going to be the week of yes, and it's going to be your sweet week. So use this energy and use this uh, um, because this is like divine wisdom and understanding information that is going to be coming out, uh, that is going to be channeled through you in order to give people. So it is a good time to do interview. It's a good time to um, ask someone to collaborate with them is a good time to ask for a promotion is a good time to ask for a raise so all of this in this week of march 8 until march 14 it is the time to recognize um that this is going to be good okay all right let's move to the last week it is going to be the week of the 15th um until the 20th so in the week of 15th until the 20th um we are recognizing um, that uh, um, an Aries Leo, a Sagittarian young lady, or Ophiosus, between the ages of 18 and, let's say, 50, okay, because they can vary. Um, whoever this young lady is, they're going to be making sure. I don't know what this young lady has done it when you're a company or organization, but I see a lot of you making sure that you're letting this young lady know, listen, um... Uh, you know, we have to let you go or we're not going to be going forward with you or, um, you know, we're going to be, uh, you know, because of what has transpired, we're going to be warning you never to use our service anymore because, uh, you know, this, what whatever you have done, you know, you can't do that. So it's as if a lot of you are going to be, um, you know, ending some sort of a works, ending some sort of a um, network end in some sort of a, a collaboration with this person because um you recognize that uh, um this person have a packed uh cv uh meaning that this person use someone else's cv use someone else's identity in order to get in your company and uh, um um some of you recognize that this person have access all um, colleagues information and I was using it um and um you guys are like no and you know you call in the authority in order to remove this person and um, because a lot of you recognize that this person was working on the the name of someone else and that sort of a situation and you guys are like listen and uh, make sure that this person doesn't do this anymore so i see a lot of you Tauruses is going to be really standing your ground and really making sure that an Aries Lee or a Sagittarian person do not get the chance to um, create another um, a chaotic situation as this. And uh, you guys are really going to be using the sword of truth in order to, um, you know, balance out this, this situation because it has gone too far and it has affects your company and your company name and um you are taking back the powers from this young lady and and recognizing that this young lady has created so many um challenges situation that could have spiral you um out of balance and i see that um it, 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 it is someone in a, a corporation it, could, it can be a client um, someone in your team, someone that you are um, a boss over someone who you're managing. Um, it could be your secretary or it could be an assistant or assistant to the secretary. But whoever this person is, you are giving them the book. 
um, in the fourth week because you recognize that this person, um, you know, is not the, the their skills and knowledge as what well is on paper is not um, who they are. And uh, for a lot of you and, and, and a lot of people are now recognizing because a lot of people are recognizing that this person is not aware of uh, uh, the ex the expertise that they said they have. They don't have that. And I see you Tauruses are really going to be standing up and is recognizing this and putting it to an end. I do love you Tauruses. Show your love by thumbs up. I'd love to see you on the other side to check out your symbols. If not, I will speak to you next time.